Yo guys, what's up? I know it's been a while, and I always do this, but I'm back. And I got a little bit of spice for you. If you guys are uh, into building bikes, and you are frame junkies, and you just like building from the frame up, I think I got some, some sweet picks for you that aren't going to totally, entirely bust your budget. Because, as we all know, if you've ever done a bike build from the frame up, you almost always spend more money than you really intend. It's either on the wheels, gear set, maybe it's just the frame itself. So, I'm here to at least show you a few of frames that I've been looking at that are actually super sick and they're all going to fit into the trail, all mountain, and enduro category. Somewhere in there in between, uh, a lot of these bikes can really kind of fit into all three of those spots. So I'm gonna just list them off and show them to you and hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys would throw a like and a subscribe and <clears throat> maybe give me a little bit of extra feedback. I know a lot of people can give me feedback on these last videos and and bikes that I missed or bikes that I didn't. So um, yeah, so if I miss something or if I mislabel something, just let me know and we'll try to get to the bottom of it, get it straightened out. And uh, yeah, so here we are. I'm gonna show you guys some frames. All right, we're gonna kick it off with the Ibis. Ibis makes a Moho HD5 DPX2 mountain bike frame. This is one of the more expensive ones, you know, and a lot of all, almost all these bikes that I'm going to list as well have a threaded bottom bracket. So I'm not going to say that on any of the other bikes. So the idea with, with how I would normally build my brand, um, you know, you kind of have to add $2,000 to whatever you're bike uh, frame is usually because um, a lot of that is going to be with your gear set and then your wheels uh, your wheels add up very quickly so you just have to give yourself a little cushion so the idea is to kind of try to fit this into under a six thousand dollar budget and I'll come out with another video later just kind of stating some of the parts that I would put on my bike to fit it into that category but as far as now goes, we're gonna go right back into the IBIS. This is a $3,000 frame, and it is a carbon frame, so it's really gonna be pretty strong, and it's got 27.5 wheel set uh, size. So the rear shock is a Fox Shock Float DPX2. Next one is an, an IBIS brand as well. This one is the Ritmo AF Topaz frame and this frame is is very decently priced it's priced at two thousand dollars and the wheel size is 27.5 so the rear shock is a dvo topaz that's why it's in the name and all these bikes that i'm going to list as well are uh, boost rear axles so you don't have to worry about getting mixed up on your wheel sizes uh, or hub sizes rather. Next one is the Nuke Proof Mega 275 alloy frame. This one is $2,700 and this one is currently out of stock but this is a very hot buy once it comes back into the market. Uh, so just keep an eye on it if you're really in, into uh, the Nuke Proof brand. This this frame comes with, with a 29 inch op option that's the 290, but um, it also has the RockShox Super Deluxe 165 millimeter rear shock, and Sam Hill races on this thing, or, or it's at least refined by Sam Hill. So you really can't beat that, man. I mean, this bike is is pretty sweet. I actually know a buddy that rides one of these, and and he loves it. So keep this in your book for when it becomes an option. All right, next one is the Evil Reckoning LB RockShox frame set. This one's actually from 2019, but there's still some available. Um, so this is still a really good option 
and a lower price point for people to be able to get into uh, building their bike. Um, maybe even their first frame bike or you know whatever. But this one is $1,900 and this, this bike has 29 inch wheels and it's actually a carbon. This is a carbon frame set so that's, that's really nice as well. It's got a flip chip for your front fork so that you can change your axis and and be able to either be more aggressive or less aggressive. That's all that's all things that us mountain bikers love, right? You can be able to change it up and 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 be able to adapt. This is a great option and I'm pretty sure that um this this frame would probably even be available in the newer option, but I'm just throwing this out there just so some people get um, some cheaper options. Okay, so the next three options are all gonna come from the same brand. This brand is from Colorado and it is a very, very good brand. I've said it in my past videos. It's Comensal and they have three very good frames. They have a Meta SX, they have an AM29, and then they have the Clash. These are all pretty similar frame sets, but um, there are some, some, some slight differences that make it uh, an all-mountain bike, and an enduro, and a trail bike. But they are all very decently built. All these bikes are really well built. But the only caveat is these bikes start at $1,600 and they go to $1,900 hundred dollars for just the frame itself they do not have the shock with it so you will have to find the shock and and then find all your other parts with it as well so but it's it's got all the things that the other bikes have had and you you kind of have to to bite the bug a little bit because you have to get the shock afterwards but depending on what shock you're gonna get you're gonna just add you know five six hundred dollars to this this price right here so you can just kind of maybe start off from there and then go go on with your the rest of your build but it is a cheaper option to start out with if you already have maybe parts that you can take off of another bike a lot of people when they're building bikes they already have parts or if this is your first one, then of course you don't have all that stuff. Um, but great option for anybody who's already had uh, a, a rear shock so that they can just throw on. So, all right, with these commensal bikes, it's really hard for me to tell you all the different variations and colors and, and everything on this one video. So, um, I'll, I will leave all the links for all these bikes specifically and you can kind of go check them out a little bit in more in depth yourself uh, because there's just price differences and, and different little variations here and there. So I will put it in the link in the bottom. Okay, so these next two bikes are from the same brand and that brand is Jamis Bikes. These two bikes are absolutely sweet. They're both carbon frame sets. One bike is named the Hardline C1, and the other one is named the Portal C1. And the price difference between, there is no price difference between them. They are both $2,900. The Hardline comes with a Fox DPX2 Evol. The Jameis Portal C1 frame comes with a Fox Float Evil 130. So the Portal is a 29 and the Hardline is a 27.5. So that's the main difference between these two frame sets. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> uh, these, these got some really cool colors in the Hardline edition. Um, and in the Portal, version there's only one color but they're very cool colors um, I do recommend these bikes these bikes look very well built 
The suspension looks like it's going to work pretty well. The linkage is very unique. Very cool. Alright, so last but not least is the Marin Alpine Trail Carbon 2 frame kit. This this bike is actually pretty sweet. A lot of people are, are down on Marin because they, they think they're a little bit on the cheaper side or whatever. And, you know, yes. The geometric qualities that this frame has is, is very hard tail like. Um, but it looks very sweet, lo looks really good. It's got a Fox Float DPX2 on it. It's, it's ready to be fitted with 29 inch wheels and it's carbon fiber frame so um yeah i mean this this bike is is a pretty good pretty good price two thousand three hundred fifty dollars really good entry to get into your wheels your brakes your front fork and in your group set and everything so this you really cannot go wrong with a marin yeah so that pretty much sums it up. There's not a whole lot on this list that I wouldn't buy myself. So, and I know in my past videos I've missed bikes and whatever. I can't, I can't do every single bike in the world. But just keep in mind that I, I, like, I do like to keep the quality in there. If I don't really think that I would buy it, I'm not going to tell you to buy it or offer it up to you guys. So this is my video on bike frames so if i missed anything give me a heads up and uh, i'll see you next time on the next video peace out let's go ride <laughs>